know, this get out of Dodge routine is pretty heavy handed, even for a Luther. So I was ambushing a teenage girl for a sound bite. Of course, using people always came easy to you. You know, our one and only encounter was years ago. Even in boarding school, I was good at sniffing out reporters, but you played the just a friendly conversation card remarkably well. As I recall, it was a full 10 minutes before I told you to go to hell. I was just doing my job, and you were a legitimate source. I was 16, and you were scrounging for dirt on my father. That's what this is really about, isn't it? Your father's secrets. If you really had anything on him, it would have come out then. <laughs> if you actually believe that, I almost feel sorry for you. Just make sure you're on the four o'clock bus. Well, so much for not drinking before five. Hey, Dad. Hey. Hey, Clark, I wasn't expecting you to later. Where's Mr. White? He left? I think he realized that Smallville wasn't quite as friendly as he first thought. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. I've been trying to wrestle this thing up on a block for about an hour. You want to give me a hand? Sure. What's the matter? I don't know. It's like I've lost all my strength. Why don't you give it one more try? Mr. Kent, you want to tell me how your tractor wound up scattered over two lanes of county blacktop? Yeah, uh, we were pulling up to the farm in our truck, and we saw somebody had put it on the back of a flatbed. So you're saying that someone was stealing it? Well, I tried to follow them. But by the time I got here, it must have fallen off their truck. I'm telling you, it fell out of the sky. And last night, you were begging the nurses to keep the flying monkeys out of your room. <sighs> Kid, you're saying you had nothing to do with this. To be honest, Sheriff, I'm not sure what happened. Well, he's hiding something, Chief. Mr. White, there's another bus in about an hour. I suggest you catch it. And don't call me Chief. Dad, I'm really sorry about the tractor. It's a total loss. Clark, I'm not concerned about the tractor. Whatever's going on with your abilities, our families wound up smack dab in the middle of Perry White's radar. 